Welcome to our tutorial about how your code becomes HTML, how it all works. For the last few chapters we've been writing code, and in this chapter I want to take a moment to teach you how it works. How exactly does the code that we write in Visual Basic end up in an end user screen in HTML format? First, we write our code in Visual Basic 2005. Next, it gets compiled into a .NET assembly file. The next part is the ASP.NET engine. When the server receives a request for a web page, it goes through the ASP.NET engine to the .NET assembly files which we compiled. As you can see, there's a lot of hard work going on behind the scenes that's completely hidden both to us as programmers and to our end users. After this request is processed, the HTML page is created and then sent back. If we go to our source window, we can see inside the HTML code a tag that reads ASP colon label ID, ID label name, and so on. This is an element of ASP.NET. This code, after the server processes our request, will be replaced with regular HTML. And here we have an ID reboot and a run at server reboot. That's how the server identifies each particular object and what to do with it. Let's scroll to the top of our page so we can look at the first line, which contains what are called page directives. This line stores basic information about how to compile a page. First, we know the page class that was used, the language, Visual Basic. The location of the code is here, and it inherits from underscore default. Where it's located, let's go to default ASPX.VB. We see the partial class, underscore default. Now let's run our application. If I right-click and select View Source, I see that the ASP attributes we looked at just a moment ago have been replaced with span attributes. You'll recognize the ID LBL name, as well as what the user sees on the website, the text name. What I've just showed you here is a simplified version of how it all works. But in a nutshell, this is how the code you write becomes HTML for the end user. This concludes our tutorial on this subject.